welcome. My name is Peter for Dr. Voip at drvoip.com and this morning we'll be doing a continuation of our how-to tech tips. In this uh, um, tech tip we'll be looking at the Shortel ECC SQL Server IVR uh, scripting language and together we're going to write a simple uh, IVR application basically enter your social security number have the ECC do a SQL database lookup to find an account balance suck the account balance back into the system and speak the balance to the caller pretty typical uh, application for an IVR solution and we're going to take a look this morning and see how that's done on a, a short tail system. So if you're not familiar with SQL or MySQL as I've said in several of the other clips we've done you're going to need to go and acquire some new skills because Shortel is clearly migrating uh, towards more Linux-like tools. Um, my SQL currently is the configuration database and a call detail record database for the Shortel PPX. So you're going to need to learn some of those things. I'd like to show you a couple of tools that uh, I recommend that you uh, go and uh, pick out for yourself. One of the ones that you're going to want to see is the MySQL website. I think I already have that up here someplace. So you're going to want to go to MySQL.com uh, um, which is uh, currently owned by Sun Microsystems. I don't know how a company owns an open source uh, community body of work but uh, there's a relationship now between Sun Microsystems and MySQL. Um, as part of this project you're going to need to download and install the MySQL Connect uh, database connector, the ODBC uh, from MySQL. Uh, um, you will need that to get your ECC to speak to your MySQL database. I would also recommend that you go and take a look at, at um, apachefriends.org. Uh, at apachefriends.org you can find a distribution of something called XAMP, XAMP, and it will run on Windows, it will run on Mac OS, and it will run on Linux. And for those of you who want the opportunity to play with a MySQL database, um, and play with some of the tools for creating databases. Um, you're going to need an Apache server and some other Linux-based two, uh, tools. If you go to this site and download XAMP, it's a distribution that will install everything you need to uh, know to begin using and practicing MySQL. In fact, uh, I've, I've located another site called KillerPHP.com. Uh, this guy's done a great job in, in bringing together some uh, um, video tutorials on how to install WAMP on your computer and how to uh, use MySQL YOG and PHP uh, MIM, which is an administration tool. Uh, it's a great site. I highly recommend um, that you take a look at killerphp.com and get yourself some uh, educational materials that will stand you well as you work with MySQL in the short tail world. There is a tool uh, particularly important to our effort here called MyPHP uh, Admin, which I also recommend that you download. If you install the Apache Friends XAMP product, it will in fact uh, download that. I have that running here on my local machine and as you'll see uh, we bring up a complete uh, Apache web server and under um, components 
you'll see all of the all of the tools that are installed for XAMP for Windows. So it's a great environment to to learn how to do Apache, MySQL, PHP, Perl, FileZilla, FTP services, PHP, MyAdmin. These are all great essential tools for doing any kind of work with SQL Server. So to get started with the ECC and the SQL scripting, uh, that will be necessary to support the simple application we're going to create together. You're going to need to obtain and install the correct OBDC connector. As I uh, pointed out, you can download that from mysql.com. Um, you will need to define a call profile in the ECC, define the system interface in the ECC. Uh, we're going to be working with some scripts uh, we'll use the graphical scripting tool to accomplish this. You have to prepare your various announcements and create your WAV files and, and get ready to, to, to uh, test and turn up this application. So what I'm going to do here is log into a, a, a short tell ECC and um, I'm not going to spend any time on some of the base configuration issues. There's another video clip that gives you a quick overview on how the ECC integrates with um, the, sh the Shortel PBX. This is basically a distributed voice module, a distributed voicemail server or application server. Uh, and um, I'm not going to cover that. There's another clip that already does. What we want to do, however, is configure the OBDC connector. That's uh, going to be step one. And you will find the OBDC connector um, in settings and in administrative tools. And basically, you're going to go to OBDC. And at this point here, you will notice um, these tabs. And what I have already done was to download uh, um, and install the correct MySQL OBDC connector. So initially, you've, uh, you have some defaults. It comes with the DBF and XLS and uh, Access MDB connectors. But what you'll need to do is download MySQL database connector and you're going to install it in the section that says System DSN. So uh, an OBDC system data source stores information about how to connect to the indicated data provider. A system data source is visible to all users on this machine, including NT services, whereas if you install it as a user DSN, it would only be available to um, the current user. So you install your OBDC MySQL connector under the system DSN. And as you can see, I've uh, already installed um, a connector. I've named it uh, ECC SQL Test. And uh, I'll just show you the configura configuration. It's very straightforward. You bring up this little tab for the MySQL OBD connector. And you will notice that, uh, give it a name, uh, give it a description. Um, I tend to put in an IP address rather than a name that would require DSN resolution. You must have a username and password. And at that point, the connector will go look for this database and it will bring you a drop-down list of the available uh, databases on that system. So at that point, you're going to push test, and you'll see that the success connection was made. Uh, if you have a problem, you can always hit the diagnostics, and generally down here, it's going to tell you what the connection problem was. But in this case, we have successfully connected to a database named Bank that's running on a SQL server at um, a SQL server, um, and we've connected as a username, Peter.